want to know what it's like to own a dog? Well, I'm going to talk about that in today's video. Hi guys, it's Chloe here from Everything Dogs with Chloe. And on this channel, we help you keep your hairy hound happy and healthy. By posting videos just like this one on what it's like to own a dog and anything else to do with your dog. So if you're new here, please think about subscribing and don't forget to check out all the links down below. Let's get into the video. So you want to know what it's like to own a dog? Well, I'm gonna talk about that, in, about that in today's video. I have two dogs, Woody and Ted. Woody is a Dachshund and Ted is a Bedlington Terrier. Um, sorry if you can see a load of toys in the background. Um, my baby is currently sleeping in our bedroom in her crib and uh, today this is my filming background. So uh, I have five um, things that what it like five answers as to what it's like to own a dog so number one is they give you so much love um dogs give unconditional love which basically means that they don't judge you they don't talk back they just love you for who you are um and that i think that's got to be the greatest thing about owning a dog because you can come home from work have the most crappiest day have the most horriblest face on. They provide so much joy and they are always there for you. So number two is it is hard in winter. In the UK we have cold winters. Probably not as cold as like some places in America but we have cold winters and it is hard to, well I find it hard, some people don't find it hard but I find it hard to get out in the cold and start walking my dogs because it's absolutely freezing. Um, I mean, when you get walking, you stay warm, but then like this part of your face gets really cold um, because obviously you've got the wind in your face and everything else. So I find that quite hard to walk them in the winter. I love walking them in the summer because it means we can sit down and take in the view, enjoy the sun. Whereas in winter, all I want to do is take my dogs out for a walk and come back to the warmth. Um, so yeah, just so you know, it is hard in winter if you have a harsh winter wherever you are. Uh, number three is it is challenging. It's challenging because they are dogs. They're not humans, they can't talk to you, you can't talk to them, even though we do. Um, it, you know, it's challenging because you it's like having kids you have you're responsible for them so you've got to put them out for the loo make sure they go out for the loo obviously you've got to feed them you know you've got to train them as well training a dog is hard work it is not easy um and you know whether you want to do tricks with them as well that's a challenge but it's a good challenge you know there's bad challenges and good challenges a bad challenge is training them to go to the loo outside. A good challenge is training, training them, teaching them loads of different cool tricks. So it depends which way you want to look at it. I love owning my dogs and I love the challenge of owning my dogs. Um, but it, it can be hard work, it can be a challenge because they are literally like children. Um, and you do have to tell them off sometimes. Like Woody this morning ate my breakfast because it was left on the side because I was dealing with my daughter who decided to do an explosive poo and I left my food on the side. So that's frustrating, but you can't tell them off because they've already done the deed and at the end of the day they're dogs and they're gonna eat whatever's on the side. So now I'm rambling, so we're gonna get on. Um, number four is it can be expensive. So if you've got a really big dog, um, like a great day, the wormer is going to be more expensive, the food is going to be more expensive, the beds are going to be more expensive because everything's so much bigger. Whereas if you get a small dog like Woody, his wormer costs us like, what, five pounds for a tablet? Um, so, you know, that that's, that's also another thing to factor in. You know, you've got jabs to think about as well, which probably costs us about 60 pound a year, which isn't too bad. But the other thing is as well is that You've got to think that if your dog gets into an accident, potentially it could cost you thousands unless you have them insured. Um, I'm, I remember there was a little puppy who was roaming in from the garden and slipped and like banged his elbow on the step and broke it. And um, they hadn't got their puppy insured at this point and 
they were going to have to spend thousands on repairing his elbow so it can be really expensive but also it, it can't be really expensive you know like sometimes you you just are lucky and your dog never has an accident so um yeah that's another thing to factor in number five is some dogs are full on ted is a full on dog by full on i mean that he constantly wants to play he's constantly on the go even though he's laid down on a bed asleep at the moment but as soon as you start to get up and play with him that's it he'll play for a whole hour um he is a full-on dog and i love it um but choose the right breed like woody is the most laziest dog i've ever known and um ted isn't ted is full-on so they can be full-on so make sure you choose the right breed Thank you so much for watching and if you are new here please think about subscribing because I post one video a week on anything to do with your dog. Also don't forget to check out all the links down below and hit the bell button so you don't miss out on any videos. I really hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!